Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a very interesting program which I call Lotteries, Business, Career, Financial Speculation, which includes Forex and Stock Market and Casino. And uh, this is for the month of November for you coming from Virgo. So before I go into Lotteries, I want to advise you a little bit about your job status or career status or business status. The first 15 to 18 days or so are not going to be very easy for you but the possibilities of you doing well are very good the the area of obstacles and hurdles is due to your temperament don't be too pushy don't show your temper or aggressiveness don't want to expose yourself to risk unnecessarily you already have a planet here moving very fast and that makes you very impulsive so watch out that is the area which i worry for you once you can control these few things which I've told you, whether in job or whether in business, you can manage to do something good for yourself in the first 17 days or so. Now, in areas uh, of job and um, uh, business, your last 12 or 13 days, your last 12 or 13 days are about the same, but a little bit worse. What happens now is you can be disappointed and you can be let down and your focus will not be strong. You can have people who are jealous of you, but your ambitious planet is also there. So the ambition is there, but the support is not there. So you have to be careful in the last 12 days or so as well. So the whole month provides opportunities, but not the foundation for it. So go slow, go careful. Now to let's talk about the lotteries. For you coming from Virgo, um, I have chosen some some um, let, let's first start the talk of your lucky dates d-a-t-e-s now every month there will be some lucky dates for you and these lucky dates will be specially made for a sun sign or a zodiac sign and for you coming from virgo i've chosen these dates which i feel are extremely lucky for you the 8th the 17th and the 26th the, on these dates, your element of good luck, are many planets have come together to forge this power base for you. So 8, 17 and 26, if you are interested in lotteries, is when you should go and buy the lottery ticket. And any kind of uh, uh, going to casino or, or any kind of financial speculation, the stock market or forex, concentrate on the 8, 17, 26, something very good is going to happen for you on these dates, in the month of November that is. Okay, this applies for that. I can't go for the whole year for you or ages for you because I don't know your horoscope. Now, lucky ages. There's going to be a certain group of ages which are going to be very lucky in November as they're coming from Virgo. And so the ages which I've chosen are, if you happen to be the ages of 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 or 58, or 67 or 76 you are going to be extremely lucky in something or another whatever area of life so i want to alert you to be extremely not aggressive but active okay so so there you are your lucky ages four um, comes under the four series now if you are not of these any of these lucky ages don't panic it just means that you are not chosen for the great element of luck, but you perhaps have other planets will help you. You see, when you do a horoscope with me, I'm going to base it on your date of birth, your time of birth and looking at your palms. And then I can really tell you what ages, what calendar years, and I will give you a lot of information about your horoscope. We will talk a bit later a bit about this. Now, your lucky numbers for lotteries in the month of November for you coming from Virgo. The numbers I've chosen are the number 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63 or 72. Some, not, some lotteries ask you to choose from 50, 1 to 50, some 1 to 60 something, 1 to up to 72. I've seen lotteries like that as well. So it's up to you, just make the choice for yourself. Okay. 
No, so so these numbers 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63 and 72 are chosen because they represent the planets who are going to be very lucky and very active in the month of November. That's how I choose my numbers. I've got a second set of numbers I've chosen as well. The second uh, uh, set of numbers is number 4, 13, 22, 31, 40 and 49. So, or 58 or 60, um, 67, okay, uh, even that, if, you're, if you need to have more numbers. So, these are my selection of numbers based on the active planet in the month of November in Virgo. Now, you can narrow the field down. You can relate it to things you own, your car number, your address, your last four digits of your handphone, last four digits of your, of your bank account. If things relate somehow, they connect to these numbers which I've given you, then choose these numbers. You can even relate it to people's birth dates, your spouse or your children or your parents or your siblings, people that you love, that you remember very often. And if their numbers, if their date, that means on what day they are born, connects with these numbers, then choose those numbers as well. These are the little signals that we must look for. All right. Then, of course, there is uh, your own lucky energy, which you can use to attract numbers. Okay? Now, energy leaves us because it has to leave us, whether it's good energy or bad energy. But when we want to concentrate on something, we will try to trap energy to build up. When you have good thoughts, it's good energy. When you have bad thoughts, it's bad energy. So when you're looking for numbers that you want to create for a lottery that, that is going to make you money, these are good thoughts. And so for you coming from Virgo, what I would advise you is, with your thumbs, connect them to your middle finger, middle finger. And this way what you're doing is, the energy that wants to leave through the middle finger, you trap it through your thumb and it returns back into you and it builds up. And in that one minute or three minutes or ten minutes that you are meditating, you're building up this fantastic energy force. And if it's going to be applied to lotteries, you're going to have some immense energy to help you choose the numbers. Okay? Now, colors. Every color is ruled by a different planet. So, in Virgo, there are certain planets who are kind to people in Virgo and unkind to people in Virgo as well. So, if you wore the wrong color, you are not going to get help from a friendly planet. And that friendly planet will put obstacles and hurdles in your path so that you cannot progress in any area of your life. And how can you win a lottery ticket that way? So you need to know which colors are the best for you because colors represent the planets and planet rules colors. And the only way to know is one day to come to Skype with me and then I'll be able to tell you based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms. Your palms are also divided into 10. So all the 10 planets, including Earth, are all stated there. And that is the way I will know which colors you should wear and which colors you shouldn't wear. So when you are meditating for your lottery, I want you to wear your good colors because it's all a matter of aligning your energy to a laser focus and then, boom, you are going to strike a lottery with that. Okay? Also, gemstones. You have to be careful about gemstones. They not only attract energy, they store a lot of energy. And they belong to different planets who rule them. And if you are wearing a gemstone which belongs to a planet for you in Virgo that is against you, well, you've got an enemy on your fingers. And how can that enemy allow you to be successful or to even win a lottery? So you've got to know what gemstones to wear on which fingers. So that's the, another thing which I'll give you a lot of information if you let me do your horoscope for you. And then there are other ways of uh, direction energy. Around the compass, all the nine planets around Earth are given a place to stay. And when we look at a certain direction, we are actually looking at a certain planet. If that planet is favoring us for you, for example, in Virgo, then that element is luck is flowing towards you. If that planet we always look at for some reason is negative, then you've got negative energy coming. So all these things I will teach you and that's how not only for lotteries but in any area of your life you will come into almost full control and I'll give you a fascinating calendar that's going to tell you for the rest of your life your good days, your bad days, your good dates, your bad dates as well. 
Okay, so all that I'm waiting to help you and get for you. And I really want to see you uh, through your horoscope to get your next five or six years right. It's going to be a 90 minute session based on your date of birth, your time of birth. It's going to be based looking at your palms and then I will also um, use your other material that I have um, like face reading as well and uh, this way I'll be able to make a horoscope for you for your next five or six years. The horoscope will be for a lifetime in the sense it's the base but I will concentrate on your next five or six years and talk to you about how to go forward or to be defensive and how to make the best of it in terms of lottery luck as well. I need to look at your palms because the palms will show many signs of whether you are going to be very lucky lottery wise or not going to make it through the lottery but maybe through other forms of talent. Okay, So go to Facebook, send me a message, go to Skype, send me a message, send me an email and through that I will be able to hear from you and make contact with you and let's get down to doing your horoscope. Until then, thank you and good luck.